get up and dance, get up, get up and sing, get up, get up and change everything. I want to start actually with the first line of Gloria's Forward, which I really love. Once upon a time, I believed that as an American, I was protected by the Constitution. I think we all read that fairy tale, and some of us still believe it. But sadly, it is not true. When we first started uh, working together and talking about it, we needed to prove that you need the ERA, because everybody comes forward and they say, oh, you don't need it. Well, then you say, okay, if you don't need it, let's pass it. Oh, no, 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 no. Though the majority of women and men were always for the Equal Rights Amendment, it was economic interests like the insurance industry that did not want to stop sex segregating their actuarial tables. While it is true that many explicitly discriminatory laws are gone now, we all know that the discrimination continues. 78 cents on the dollar is just one of many examples. That is why we need the ERA. We have a ways to go to bring women into the mainstream of American society in partnership with men. I never planned to write a book like this, but I wrote it because as I was talking to people about the ERA, the same question kept coming up again and again as to why do we really need it. So a lot of great stuff is happening around this book, and the idea, of course, is to use the book to get the ERA passed and to use it as kind of a lever for social change. Get, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I think people, many people who think we have the ERA or think we don't need the ERA think that because of the 14th Amendment, which has never been a guarantee of equal rights for women. So in the book, I've highlighted some of the many cases in which women have gone to court seeking justice for sex discrimination and been denied. Women who have faced pregnancy discrimination, pay inequity, gender-based violence, these are real women and the harm they have suffered is real while well, the protection they may have thought they had under the 14th Amendment is not. We got seven state legislators in Nevada elected on the basis of their pledge to support the Equal Rights Amendment, and every one of them voted against it once they got in office. But I do think that we are in a different era now. Now, much time has passed since the last big campaign for the ERA in the 1970s. Most, if not all, the arguments against the ERA are now gone. So what I think is surely with social media and a new generation of women and men who do not believe in second-class citizenship for women, we can get the ERA across the finish line and put it in the Constitution where it belongs. The time has come. I think that uh, it's critically important, and I can't think of anything that is more important to help women in our country than passing the ERA. I truly do believe that. We need your help in so many ways. If you have political contacts, we really need those. And we really need to raise funds to make this happen. I hope you're going to join this campaign. It's going to be fun. And I really do believe we can do this. I think it is truly outrageous that women don't have a constitutional guarantee of equal rights in this country. What time is it? Time to rise up. What time is it? Time to rise up. What time is it? Time to rise up. What time is it? Time Time to rise up. Rise, rise, rise. What time is it? Time, time to rise up. up. That's right. <laughs> rise.